Hi everyone, it's Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for uh, joining me again. In my last few videos, I have been uh, using a small mixer, which is mainly the Behringer uh, Zenix Q502 USB mixer, which is a uh, small one microphone input with a compression knob, uh, as well as two line input, um, headphone output, line output, as well as a USB connection to the PC. So I thought it might be a good idea to uh, run through its specifications. I thought I'll uh, do an experiment and find out the quality of the USB connection as well as the mixer. Find out its uh, audio spectrum to see uh, how good uh, the frequency response is of the mixer going through the USB. Um, at the same time find out the noise levels and twiggle with few of its uh, knobs and buttons and so on. So to conduct the experiment, what I have done is I'm, I have set up my Presonus Studio One to do an audio sweep um, and uh, put in graphic uh, analysis, spectrum analysis, so we can see the response from the mixer. And then it will also tell us the uh, noise levels of the mixer. So now why don't we head out to my uh, work desk and then find out how it's all connected so that uh, when we go into my screen to look at the, uh, the, the, the testing, uh, you already know physically how it's all connected and what I'm talking about. So let's go and have a look. Okay, so what I have here is my coffee mug and I've drank it all. And it's not part of the experiment. It's just for me to, to, <laughs> to get all ready and done. So that's the uh, Behringer's uh, Zenix Q502 mixer that you have seen me use uh, all the time. Um, so that's what we're going to test. I have a microphone connected to it. And it's just going there. And that's the, um, the ISK's BM900 microphone connected to it. And all of the settings is at flat. So that's uh, at a zero uh, dB unity, and that's at zero dB unity. Um, and we have the main mix at zero dB unity. Um, compression is all off. That's a compression knob. Uh, I do have the line out connected um, uh, to my laptop as well, so I can uh, obviously record um, the, uh, the sound and my voice. And I also have usually, uh, as always, the uh, USB connected to my uh, laptop and on my laptop I do have as you can hear and see uh, I've got Presonus Studio One set up and I will explain how it all works so basically I will be adjusting this knob here to get the levels um, set up so we have a reference level and I will be using these knobs here to adjust and work out the uh, microphone noise levels and as well as these uh, levels here to work out the line input, any noise levels from there and so on. And I'll be using my Audio Technica headphones to listen to it. And uh, I may need another coffee. Now I will show you how I have Presonus Studio One set up for this uh, experiment. I have a track added and onto that track I have added a tone generator and the tone generator will basically create a sine wave and start from 40 Hertz and move all the way up to 20 kilohertz uh, with a time frame of 10 seconds sweep at a volume level of minus 20 dB and it will be a logrammatic sweep. Now to be able to uh, do a reference level so that we know that our input level as well as the output level match, we need to create uh, what's called a pink noise, which is a sort of like a, you know, what you get on a TV with no signal coming in. And this will allow us to adjust the mixer master volume to match the minus 20 dB or thereabouts. You know, anywhere between minus 20 to uh, minus 18 dB. And we will see that at the bottom here as I'm adjusting it. So I will turn my microphone off while you lower down your uh, volume, if you have it loud, because it will be a loud noise coming through. And then I'll adjust the levels.
Okay, I have the levels set. As you can see, it was we're giving out minus 20 dB and we are receiving minus 20 dB and now we have a reference level. So let's go back to a sine wave. And this sine wave, um, we will hear later on. Again, watch out for the head, your uh, head, if you're, especially if you're listening on a headphone, you might want to level the, uh, lower the, uh, your volume level down. And to be able to re see what the graph looks like, I have added a spectrum meter at the input of uh, inputs one and two coming back from the uh, mixer. And this is our spectrometer. As you can see, uh, this is what it uh, looks like. And we, go, we should be able to do a sweep where the sound will go from like that and all the way up. And it should give us a nice graph. Again, I will um, turn off my uh, microphone so I don't interrupt the signal uh, uh, being generated. Uh, and uh, we'll have a quick look. Okay, so that's what the graph looks like. And uh, so it's pretty flat. And you can see it matches quite nicely with the reference level that I have, this line that's going across and following my mouse. Um, so it's, um, it's not bad. It's quite flat all the way up to 1K um, at minus 29 dB. It's, uh, whereabouts it is? About, starts at minus 28 dB. Um, so if we're looking at minus 30 dB, 31 dB or so, yeah, so it starts about uh, one and a half, two kilohertz as it uh, uh, gradually fades all the way down to um, about average of minus 43 dB at 20 kilohertz. That's not a bad response. That's quite a good response um, for a general purpose USB interface with no peaks and no dips and so on. So the next thing we want to do is uh, measure the noise levels. Again, I'll just turn this off. We don't need the tone generator anymore. And what I'm going to do is I will have all of the volume levels the, from the input channels as well as the master level turned all the way down. And then we will turn it up and see how much noise the electronics of the mixer is actually generating. Okay, so that's minus 116 dB is actually not bad for um, for for a for a, for a mixer of this um, price range. Um, it's quite quiet, uh, you know, quiet as I have the volume turned um, all the way down. So what I will do next this time, I will disconnect my microphone and then turn the microphone uh, master fader all the way up and then the gain all the way up. Um, sequentially and we'll see how much noise that will generate while the master uh, channel volume is at 0 dB. Here we go. Okay, as we can see, um, when I turn the uh, fader um, of the um, of the um, 
microphone all the way up. We had about 110 dB uh, dynamic range uh, before the noise started. And then when I turned the uh, input gain all the way up, it obviously the noise floor moved all the way up to minus 85 dB, which is still not bad because we are giving about 60 dB of gain to that microphone input. So it's something expected for uh, a mixer at this price range. So um, it's, it's, it's still, I would assume, uh, clear enough because you wouldn't normally won't have it that loud. So this is the normal volume level that I have. And if I stay a little bit quiet, um, we'll actually see what normal microphone level would be like with the room ambient noise in there. So as you can uh, hear, it's, it is quite low. It is quite low um, with the graph, as we can see. So um, it is not a bad mixer. It's quite um, reasonable for its price range. So um, there you go. So that's um, you know some technical testing of the mixer that I've been using uh, quite a bit lately because it's uh, really handy to use. <laughs> Um, you know, uh, instead of uh, me pulling out uh, my Audiobox 1818 VSL by Prusonus. So, um, uh, yeah, that's it. Well, I hope that experiment uh, was uh, useful enough for you. And now you know uh, the quality of the mixer and how much uh, uh, bandwidth it has, what its frequency response is, as well as noise levels from the microphone by itself from the microphone, the line levels, and the compression knob, and so on. So hopefully that was helpful. So um, if you have any more comments you'd like to make, or any questions you have in regards to this experiment, about it, anything else that um, I might have uh, missed out, feel free to give me a comment below, and I'm more than happy to answer them for you. And um, you know, you're quite welcome to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. That way you will always keep up to date with uh, lots of experiment and audio um, tips and ideas that I have on my YouTube channel. Um, and if you haven't visited my website, uh, you most welcome to visit there as well. It's uh, recordingstudio9.com and hopefully see you then. And thanks for watching and cheerio!